Good morning everyone, this is a Volkswagen ID7 Pro S with the 86 kilowatt hour battery and today I'm trying Project 700. I tried to achieve 700 kilometers of range out of this car. This car is 19 inch summer tires so it's really good for consumption and it's also missing a lot of features so the panoramic roof, electric seats, the subwoofer, this is all weight. So this is the ID7 that could get the most range. So I'm charging here the supercharger to 100% then we go on the highway and drive 90 kilometers an hour and see if at the end we can reach 700 kilometers of range. I'm on my way driving 93 kilometers an hour at GPS speed 90. I mean, the slower I drive, the better, but I think 90 is okay and it's also a bit more realistic to drive, maybe not on a highway, but overall. It's freezing out there, it was just 6 degrees, now it's 9.5, that's okay. I have the heat on on 22 degrees, only my side. This car has a heat pump and the seat heater, but it will get warm very, very fast. Um, I think uh, we're gonna be okay and right now consumption is going down that's awesome that's what we want and it's also Wednesday that means there are trucks on the road and I will have to pass a few trucks but I will do that really slowly and try to conserve the energy. I used 10% of the battery and drove 63 kilometers, so only 630 kilometers of full range. Consumption is 126 watt hours per kilometer, but it's still freezing out there, 6 degrees. I turned the heat down as much as I can, only seat heater, but it's still heating a tiny bit. But 6 degrees means that the drag through the air is a bit higher and we're going uphill. I can see when we switched highways, it was 330 meters um, elevation, now it's 355. So I'm hoping on the way back we can uh, get better. And trucks on the highway today and I have to pass them because they drive 85 or 86. And then I have to speed up to 100. And that of course is also not amazing for consumption. I turned around because there's a traffic jam here in Munich. So I turned around, go back in direction of Deckendorf. We drove 132 kilometers. I'm at 80%. 80 so we're gonna drive Deckendorf and then in the direction of Regensburg See, because I think there's less traffic than around Munich in the morning now. That's, that's a possibility, so that's why we do it that way. I 
I used 25% of the battery and drove 160 kilometers. Average consumption is 130, um, which is not good. That's 640 kilometers of full range. I need consumption of 122. This would make me 700 kilometers. But uh, since we are on the way back, it's also downhill. And let's hope um, I can get the consumption down and I can get to that range. But it's still cold, eight and a half degrees. Not nice. I turn around again and I changed my mind. I'm going back to Munich because it's just way less trucks. Yes, we're going up a bit of a hill and then on the way back down, but here is the same thing in uh, South North Highway, it's just way too busy. What I can see is that I'm not heating the car anymore. It's 12 and a half degrees out there. So heat is not doing anything. I don't have seat heating on. So the only thing that's keeping my range down is that it's not warm so if it would be 25 degrees out there or 20 it would be way better because the air is just less resistance but that's what it is today i only have this car for two weeks and it would have been way better to do this test on a sunday when it's 20 degrees but it's not happening <laughs> I just calculated my range and I get to 675 kilometers. So we're getting better <laughs> and consumption is getting closer too. It's getting warmer. So with a bit of luck, we can reach the 700 kilometers. Come on, 97, you can do that. And come on, weather, give me some warmth here. I used 50% of the battery, drove 340 kilometers, so full range 680. We're getting closer, my consumption is also getting closer, that's awesome, 15 and a half degrees out there, no AC, no heat, no nothing, it's just driving. So we go on like this, I want to drive the car down to 10% when I arrive. And then, of course, I have no idea if these kilometers here are accurate, if this shows too much or not enough. We'll see when I'm home. I'm going to calculate the whole route with Google Maps and see what uh, Google Maps says the kilometers really are. I did it consumption average went down to the number that I need but uh, for this calculation I used that I can really use 86 kilowatt hours out of the battery which I doubt it will be around 84 so I still have to go lower <laughs> but still great drive um, like I said I want to drive around 600 kilometers so another 212 which should take another two and a half hours almost I'm on my last leg. I'm going back to where I started, navigated there. It's 113 kilometers, I have 164 kilometers of range and it should be plenty. Car thinks I arrive with 7% when I started the navigation. It said I can't reach it. So the calculation is not done with how I'm driving right now. Uh, my consumption it went a bit up because it was uphill this way. But now for at least, how much is it, 86 kilometers, it goes downhill. Um, I calculated the range in between and it was 481. I'm not getting that close. <laughs> so I don't think I can make it. Boo! <laughs> I 
I used 75% of the battery, drove 516 kilometers. Consumption is spot on what I need, but I calculated the range, I get to 688 kilometers. So it has to be lower. <laughs> and again, I still don't know if those kilometers are really true. Otherwise, drive is amazing, another 75 kilometers to go. I arrived with 15%, drove 592 kilometers. And with these 15%, my calculated range is 696 kilometers. If I would have arrived with 16%, which switched one and a half kilometers ago, it would have been over 700 kilometers. So I lost <laughs> consumption 121 watt hours per kilometer, which is great. So I put the whole route into Google Maps and again it's exactly 592 kilometers, the same as the car has shown. And yes, I'm sure it's not perfectly accurate, a few hundred meters here and there, but still same kilometers, that means the consumption is really that average speed was 85.8 kilometers an hour and my range is still the same, 696.5 kilometers. But again, I started at six degrees. If I would have, would have started uh, at noon and at around 15, 16 degrees, no heat the whole time, I would with no problem because again the heat is taking some power and when it's cold your consumption is higher and if the battery is a bit cold I didn't preheat the battery well I charged it the supercharger maybe preheated a bit but a warm battery also has then lower consumption because there's less resistance um, at last, unless it's too hot then of course there's cooling needed and stuff like this but yes I failed by a tiny little bit. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.